so we're here with um, Brett's car on the computer. Um, this is the back end work that goes on with um, designing a chassis and a cage. So what you see here is two different scans um, of the same car. So originally we weren't going to cut out as much weight. We were going to keep the rockers and the upper roof structure, but we ended up cutting all of it out to get it as light as possible. So what you have here is two different scans of the roof. So as you can tell with the factory structure, this part of the cage will be going through it. So I went back through and rescanned the inside of the car after we already cut it, um, just kind of give us better constraints of where the cage would be. Um, but this is the this is the whole chassis. Um, as you can see, that is the jig that we had it sitting on. You guys probably saw it in the video. Um, so this is the 25-1 chassis that will be going in Brett's car. Um, I have a Coyote mocked up here, obviously, um, and then it's got the Turbo 400 mocked up inside there. So this allows us, I don't get super detailed with the front end portion of it because we, we still have to mount his turbos. We have to mount the radiator, the intercooler, um, and all of his front accessories. He's got an alternator, um, dry sump. So everything firewall forward is pretty much just what's coming through the firewall. Um, we'll do all the front end stuff that's custom mounted um, or custom bent and fit. We'll leave that off of the drawing just for time savings. But this saves a bunch of time because we can plot out, here, let me spin around here. Um, we can plot out, you know, drive shaft clearances and all kinds of different stuff. Um, we can plot out where our jig clamps are gonna be. So saves a lot of time um, on our end later on that we have this already done. We can reference it and look at it. Um, it also allows us to make changes and review the changes. So like his car, he wanted a certain four link bar length. So this has a setback number one bar that will accommodate uh, Marty's billet brackets. Uh, I think we're shooting for like a 19 inch four link bar length. Uh, so a little bit, a little bit shorter than we normally run, but that's something he wanted. He wanted pretty close to his current car, um, make the setup a little easier. Um, but it allows us to view the, you know, the motor placement, you know, that's this mid plate placement is where he has his old car. So we're able to mock that up, set the, um, the mid plate hoop and the right spot. That way we can, uh, quickly knock out the chassis and not be spending weeks custom bending everything. So I can pull off each portion so this was the this had no this was the no rocker drawing so it had all the upper structure so then i rescan the interior which is just bare nothing and you can see it's fits a lot better so we're able to go in um, this is how we do most of our cage kits now um, we're able to go in and draw it and not have to bend a single tube and when tubing was nine dollars a foot it was you know, we were spending a lot of money bending uh, tubes to mock up cage kits. So this way we can draw it all up in CAD and then verify it on the car. So to save time on Brett's car, we are going to export this out to Bentec and we will cut it and bend it, um, cut it on the Dragon, bend it up in the bender and that way it will be notched and ready to go. Um, the front end stuff from Firewall 4, like I talked about, won't be that way, but the main portion will be um, notched and bent and we'll just put it on the jig and it'll pretty much just click together. Um, there'll be some touch up spots on the notches that we have to do off of the Dragon, but that will be um, it'll pretty much ready to go. I'll have all the jigs set up. Um, so we won't have to mess with that and it'll be, they'll know, you know, Mark and whoever's building it will be able to set the bars where they need to. Um, just saves a lot of time on our end, especially with the time crunch of this build. Um, I think we have three, he wants to race at FL2K. That's a beginning of 
October. So when this video comes out, it'll be time crunch time. <laughs>